The following skit and events are fictional and should not be taken seriously. Any jokes about choir, band, or orchestra are all satirical exaggerations. Now, with that being said, please enjoy. The next day, where is everyone? Why is no one here? See, about that, I decided that the music department just wasn't worth continuing. So I shut it down. I'm going to follow my dream and move to Japan, where the people practice 40 hours a day. But you can't just do that. The music department needs you. Well, it's better than whatever we have here, to call it land. I mean, band. Man, I can't wait until I get there. I'll conduct a great band, maybe even appear on the best Japanese band's DVD. <laughs> you can't just leave. There's, there's got to be some way to fix this. How can I get him to stay? What's this? Who is he phoning and sitting out like that? Let me go put it away. <laughs> The year is 20XX, I mean 2016. All of the 2019 seniors are now freshmen, lost in direction and lacking any motivation. What will Kenny do to help them? What on earth was that? Excuse me, is this Limbrook? Uh, yeah. Are you a new student or something? Huh? I spy, I spy a suspicious man who looks too old to be a student. State your name and your profession this instant! Calm your horses. I work here as a TA. I got confused because I don't see construction when I look outside anymore. There's an actual quad. <laughs> TA? Huh. Never thought our teacher would have a TA. Well, would you like to go on your merry way then? We're busy rehearsing. Well, that's some productivity you've got there. Yep. This is a 2016 Limbrook Choir for you. Wait, 2016? What? Uh, yeah. You good, man? Do you need some boba to fix you up right? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's for the cockroaches now. I must have traveled back in time when I touched that euphonium. 
Maybe this is the chance to fix everything. Get these ungrateful kids to care about music. Yeah, making everyone care about music, you're basically asking the Sopranos to sing in time. Utterly impossible. <laughs> or, it's like asking the altos not to slow down. Even more difficult. Wait, you said you guys like musical soundtracks. Ever thought of being in a musical? Not really, but thinking about it, it'd be cool, I guess. I mean, what would he do? Considering what we usually sing, we'd probably have Shrek. I'd be down. Something fun. A classic, like Beauty and the Beast. I'd be down. It does look like Santa. Yeah. I think I'd consider auditioning if it actually happened. Would we get casted though? The teacher's pretty picky. Well, there's no harm in trying. Why not still practicing now to be ready if there ever is one? Thank God, tempos is something we always need to work on. to be concert master. I've played longer than you. Well, who's the guy that can't play Paganini's Caprice number 24 by memory and at twice the tempo? Double the tempo? Psst. When you do that, you don't even play the piece at all. You just grate your bow and hope for the best. Well, if you can play it slowly, you can play it quickly. What? No two set violin pens here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. What the heck are you two fighting about? Chairs! And this nurse should have gone concert master. I should have. <laughs> Oh! Can you, can you listen to me real quick? You two shouldn't be fighting over chairs at all. What do you know about being a violinist? Aren't you a lame band nerd? That's like the most boring and pathetic thing there is. Uh, never mind. You're okay. Better than the violas, at least. That's where the problem is. Your egos are so toxic, the trumpets are taking us. Wait. No pencils. Never mind. So, let me get this straight. Both of you are first violin, and still want concert master. That's why we're fighting over it. What do you think we are? Communists? Have you guys ever tried working for a solo goal together? What kind of goals there for an orchestra that's so dreamy? Be part of a musical. Musicals? Aren't they just super sappy singers who can get a Hollywood break? <laughs> Not at all. It's a glorious production where everyone wants to go for one thing. Make a show that everyone will remember. Well, I don't plan on performing for Hamilton or anything like that. Beauty and the Beast. Everyone loves that. With your skills, I bet you two'd be able to go from a high school play to a dramatic masterpiece. Hmm, I've always liked seeing no one slick as Gaston in the shower. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, and I like to pose in front of the mirror pretending that I'm Gaston. <laughs> then you should start talking about it with your fellow members. A good musical isn't anywhere complete without a pit orchestra. Yeah, I'm actually starting to feel excited about this whole musical thing. Hopefully it becomes something real. Well, now that you've found your goal, I'm looking forward to sitting in the front row of your production. Well, Mr. Kenny Makanoto is taking care of things in the past. Why don't we take a look at how our favorite Mr. Pakaluk is doing? Konnichiwa! 
I am your new music director from America, and I hope to make some great music with you all. Why don't we get started with Song of Growing? <laughs> Let's leave Mr. P alone to deal with both the language barrier and rowdy students as we go back to see Kenny Makanoto in 2016.
the present. The day has been reset. We are now back to the beginning of our skit where Mr. Pakalok first introduces Kenny Makaroto to the Wind Ensemble. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Mm -hmm. 